Dr. Ari here covering another epi question. So let's uh, pause and try to answer this question and write down why each one is correct or incorrect. Okay, so let's start off with lead in. Which of the following variables is a dependent variable in this study? So impossible to really answer that. Looks like these are all different variables. Hopefully they're all in the study. So let's go back up to the question stem and start looking at the study itself. A study is conducted to determine the association between smoking and lung cancer. So we're looking at smoking and lung cancer. This is gonna be the causal pathway. Researchers collected data on smoking status. They either never smoked, they were current smokers, or they were former smokers. Okay, so that looks like it is categorical data. And they had a lung cancer diagnosis of yes, no, which is also categorical data. And they had a thousand participants. So they had a group of a thousand and we followed them over time, it looks like. No, no, we didn't follow them over time. Um, they just collected data on whether they smoked, didn't smoke, and whether they had a yes, no lung cancer diagnosis. Okay. So this could be a cross-sectional study, um, but it doesn't really say much about it, so I'm not gonna call what it is. It could be cohort, it could be cross-sectional, but let's just kind of move on. Which of the following variables is a dependent variable in this study? Uh, okay, so we're looking at the dependent variable. So, if we have smoking and lung cancer, which one is independent and which one is dependent? So, smoking status is the independent variable because that is the one that is in the causal pathway causing the lung cancer. So this is the one that is often either manipulated if we're doing different kinds of studies or, so for instance, whether we had increased smoking versus decreased smoking or we had amount of smoking, right? And so here we have never smoked, current smoker or former smoker. So that is going to be the independent. And if we look at an XY graph, we are gonna have an independent, which is smoking variable here on the X axis. And then on the Y axis, we are going to look at the dependent, which the dependent is dependent on this independent. So smoking and lung cancer is going to be like this. So we're gonna have um, never smoked, current smokers, and former smokers. And depending on if you're in this bucket, we could have never smoked might have lung cancer like this. And so the dependent is depending on each group. The current smoker, maybe they are like this. And then the former smokers, maybe they are like this in the middle. So the group will depend on, or the amount of lung cancer will be dependent on the independent variable, which is smoking group. So in this situation, age. Age is a descriptive factor it's a socioeconomic, or not socioeconomic, it's a demographic variable and is not associated with this causal pathway, so therefore it is not independent or dependent. Gender is also a demographic variable. It's not in the causal pathway, so it is not independent or dependent. Income is also a demographic, so that one's out. So we are left here with lung cancer and smoking, and we said smoking was independent, so that one is out, and lung cancer diagnosis is the dependent variable in this case. 